Is it, well, I'm not. Uh, it's, should probably, we... it's probably a mouse. I'll check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, Dax. Maybe uh, bring uh, Annabelle with you. Bring your candles. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my room with Foxy. Have that fun. That seems safe. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You'll be by yourself. I like. I look like somebody who's trying to hide the fact that they have to go to the bathroom. So like at first I'm walking and then I'm I'm definitely speed walking and then when you see me get closer to my door I'm sprinting. <laughs> so there are no bathrooms in your bedroom. Spot, oh, right? I didn't mean that. It's just okay. me pansying my way back to my room. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever need to use a restroom, there are water closets. Yeah. <laughs> that leaves you two. Uh, in Dax's notebook, he's right. He writes needs uh, uh, exterminator. <laughs> needs exterminator. Okay. And then underneath, or above that, it says "quote unquote exorcist." <laughs> That's right. And make my way to uh, room seven. So room seven is Hello? upstairs. Oh, oh. So you and you the go stairwell's upstairs. right next to us, right by, right by the office. Yeah, yeah, it's right by the yeah, office. Yeah, I'll go. I'll yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Do you follow? Yeah. Annabelle, so you guys walk upstairs into the uh, the upstairs hallway. And you see on both sides, obviously, the the hallway is kind of, again, dusty. There's a window kind of at the end that's already opened, um, but kind of broken. And you see when you get up there, there's a couple rooms to your left and a couple rooms to your right. Uh, Annabelle, okay. I don't think there's a room seven on this map. Or there is, and it's been boarded up. Well, let's take a gander, and I'll walk to where room seven should be. Oh my god, there is no room seven. <laughs> make. Amazing. Both of you can make a spot. I'll, I'll give you a spot hidden check. Got yeah. It, but yeah. No, no, actually. Out of 40. I got a 39. You both got it. So as you look yeah. down the hallway, you can see on your right is bedroom nine. On the left is bedroom six. On the right is bedroom 10. There's a wall. And the wall, like, here's bedroom six. The wall is slightly elevated in front of it. So you can see there's bedroom six going straight. Then there's kind of a little inch forward. And then the wall continues. Is it, like, concrete or is it, like, wood? Hey, you yeah, knock on it or something? or? Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's, knock on it. it's, like, plaster. Kind of hollow. Just, like, so a drywall. I'm, gonna, like, walk, I'm just going to keep walking down. It's all drywall. It. Doesn't sound hollow anywhere. Like there's a doorway. No, the uh, the but when you when you do that and you hit the other walls, all the other walls are made of wood. Oh, there's something behind here. Did you bring your sledgehammer? No, I don't do construction. I have, I have, pulls out a book. <laughs> about this, about this, and that's it. This is the heaviest thing I have. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you worked in construction. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I don't. Why do you think that? <laughs> it was just a guess. Apologies. And I'll turn around and start walking back downstairs. Uh, Dax, as she leaves, uh, a crow flies through the window <laughs> and hits the wall oh. right where she was. And drops dead. Uh, dang. Another one flies in. Drops dead. And then they start coming in one after another. These black birds. And then all of a sudden it's rapid fire. Brrr, it's as if hundreds of birds are flying in. And they're pounding into this wall. Hitting it. And dropping dead into a huge pile. Uh, Dax will be very concerned. Uh, I think we have definitely an exterminator or something, because this is like this is a big problem. Annabelle, Annabelle, mm -hmm. you feel yourself being dragged back, and Poor from me. the birds come up a bunch of bodies. It's an angry mob with pitchforks and torches, yelling, "Kill him! Kill him! Kill him!" There's a misunderstanding. We're not open yet, and I'm... I don't work here or anything. Make a I sanity can... check. 58. I barely made it, but I didn't hit. Barely made it. Roll a d6. Fuck. 
six. These are the worst dice. Emma got me these dice. They have never rolled well in a Call of Cthulhu game. <laughs> ever. Ever, ever. Take seven sanity damage. Why do you okay. keep using them then? Because I always hope. And I'm like, oh, these are like Call of Cthulhu dice hope. and never want to. And as you it. blink, you wake up laying on the ground. Looking up at the ceiling of the hallway. Is it darker than, like, does it, do I see, does it feel like a lot of time has passed based on the outside? Or is it just? No. Moments. It is getting darker. But only moments have passed. Uh, it might be, might be bedtime for Dax, for old Daxie. And I'll make my way back to my room. And as you get up, the pile of birds are all gone. The one that hit the door, or the wall, gets up <gasps> and flies out the window. Shake, we'll kind of shake his head and shake it, try to shake it off as he makes his way downstairs. <laughs> All right. You, Garfield, what are you doing in your room as this is going on? Uh, I'm sitting on my bed, like, cross-legged, and I have Foxy at the end of the bed, and I'm just kind of talking to Foxy, and Foxy's just kind of cleaning herself. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, it was probably nothing, there was probably rats like Dax said, it's it's going to be fine, Foxy. We're going to be totally fine. You don't need to stress about anything. Just get your beauty sleep, and we're going to be fine. Your satellite phone lights up. Ah! Alert. <laughs> I scream just a little bit and throw it across the room, and then I, uh, I get up and I pick it up, and I'm just like, hello? It doesn't ring. It's just like an incoming email. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm not used to satellite phones. Uh, I look at the, the, the thing, the email. Dire reports coming in from Papua New Guinea, where a volcanic eruption has claimed the lives of over 100,000 people. Yeah, more of this crap. This feels like the whole Earth is falling apart. I just kind of turned my... I turned the satellite phone off. And Foxy I a... goes up to the mirror that's on your vanity and begins to claw at it. I, I go up behind Foxy and I just kind of massage the back of her head and I'm just like, yes, do you see it now? Do you see the possibilities? We can take some cool photos here, get some nice property photos and show it off before we get... I'm looking in the mirror, though. What, is you there... look up and you see a man's long face, a younger man with blonde hair and his jaw distended. You see flesh melting off his face as he screams silently at you. <laughs> just freeze. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> Go ahead and make a constitution roll. About, uh, 15. You passed? Yes. You managed to catch yourself before you throw up all over your cat. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to damage the goods. <laughs> uh, is it still there? It's gone. It's all the it's just smudges on the mirror, dust. Yeah, I I kind of take my my coat, uh, and then I I'm about to wipe it, but then I'm just like, oh no, and then I I pull my arm so that it's just my naked arm, and I wipe it. I was like, okay, okay, we got a little bit of cleaning to do first, Foxy. And so then your two companions, so you hear them coming down the stairs. Uh, I open the door. Uh, I'm already in my PJs, by the way, which are like, it's uh, them. it's one of those sleeping caps, but it's got cat ears on it, um, and then it's just like a really nice silk uh, uh, PJ set. So I like open the door and I have Foxy in my hand, and, like she's just kind of like draped over my arm like this, and I'm just like, what was it? Was it a mouse? We don't know. It's it's boarded off. We can't get in. We're gonna have to. Tear it down at some point if you want to check it out. Can you do, can do it tomorrow, Annabelle? Can you do a ritual just in case there's evil spirits near so that I can go to bed tonight? Of course, oh, you'll be fine. See, Dax, real solutions. It's also I mean, like eight fifteen p.m. By the way, <laughs> to give you a notice of the time. Yeah, we're gonna probably. Go to the kitchen or wherever, see if there's anything to eat. I'm sure Pete eats something more than peaches. I can go for some peaches right now, too, honestly. <laughs> uh, and then uh, we're probably going to get our beauty sleep. <laughs> so I shut the door behind me. I have Foxy with me. I'm just, like, hugging her like this, and I walk off towards the kitchen. <laughs> I look like a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you also... Oh, hey, my do, real do you follow? 
Or does he go by himself? Wait, I'll, I'll check out the ladder and kitchen chair. Oh, hang on one second. He's looking for his real cat. Oh my god. <laughs> Annabelle, do you go with him? Um, I think I probably will... Could we tell oh. that he looked, like, shaken or sweaty or weird when he opened the door? Make a psychology check. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> go into the go into the kitchen. <laughs> that, what is, oh, uh, that's a four? The du- what is the double zero? What's that? Double zero? That's good. So double zero and a four means four percent. That means it was a oh, really okay, good pass. Uh, if you have it at all. Psychology? Oh, 10%. I guess you could have passed. Um, yeah, he looked pretty shaken. Very sweaty. Uh, okay, then I probably would open his door and like peek in the room and see if I see anything weird. Not offhand. Then I'll follow them to the kitchen. She wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's up? Dax, you go with him? Yeah. Okay, let me see. What, which path do you take to the kitchen? So you have to go through the dining room to get to the kitchen. Okay. So in the dining room, you get there, and the smell is awful. There are flies, and they seem to gather around in little spots. There are dust sheets over old wooden tables and chairs, and you see just messes everywhere and, I don't know, streaks on the ground? Uh, I'm gonna have to get them to clean this tomorrow, too. I can't have this place looking like this, even just for me. All of you make a constitution roll. None of you throw up, but it smells... It's... it. You just smell the rot. Foxy wretches a little bit. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> she catches it, though. She's good. Does it smell like meat rot or earth rot? Meat rot. Gross. Yeah, you might need like a... Annabelle doesn't say that, I say that. (laughs) You might need like a biohazard team or like... Have you seen hoarders, like the people that come in for that? Because that's like... I don't know what these people in tomorrow are going to do, but like... This is gross shit. I don't want my future hotel on hoarders. (laughs) One of the dust sheets moves. Not a lot, just like a little faint wave. (laughs) I just put... Foxy on my shoulder and I pat her back it's gonna be okay <laughs> go go get it Dex go get it go get it the, the dust curtain? you want me to pull it up? you want to make more smell in here? Yeah, let's just figure out what it is go get it <laughs> alright <laughs> grab it <laughs> and yank it off you yank it off in there there's a raccoon whose all its guts have been spilled out and they're rotting and it just has one thing going like this <laughs> I have no is remorse a... for it. Dax, make an appearance check. <laughs> this isn't gonna be great. If you crit, you look sexy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I did make it. I got a thirty-seven out of fifty. You you maintain your composure and don't scream. It's good. For what it's worth, <laughs> Dax, this is not the first time you've mm. seen a dead weird raccoon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me just stop trying to like it's still a little, I don't have anything to like put this thing it's, out of its misery uh, make a uh, a survival or a spot hidden check spot hidden is better <laughs> not with an 89 though nope. yep it's just one claw it's still alive but it has been ripped open and its guts are everywhere you think it had an accident can the rest of us see it, or is he like covering? He's it? kind of standing I, in front of it. No. Oh. If you move, you can. Yeah, I'll move. You, yeah. As soon as I saw it, I'll move it to show them. Why would you do that? Why would you just recover <laughs> it up, my dude? <laughs> 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 we gotta, we gotta put this thing out of its misery. It's not dead yet. Either we like. Both of you make appearance checks at half because you're animal sensitive. Oh no. You're a dog person. He's a cat person. You don't like seeing animals hurt. I didn't get it. At all. Oh, wait, no, I got it if it would have been normal, but if it's at half, no. You both take one point of sanity damage. Oh. Fuck. Oh. And you what? do that. <laughs> oh, you cry a little bit. Do we, um, like, 
you you <laughs> hug you hug your foxy a little tighter. <laughs> You don't think it's a, you know, they, it had an accident, right? There's nothing in this hotel that would hurt Foxy, is there? Well, there's the woods. There's probably like bears around and wolves and stuff. Don't Maybe tell me kayak. there's bears in my hotel. I'm not in. I don't think they're staying. They're not like the guests in room nine. I think they're probably just in the woods around here. Hmm. How did this raccoon just just cover it up? Just cover it up. Well, I'm gonna kill it. You know, did you bring a gun? Well, no. I'm like, I don't have a gun. I could like, you know, break its neck or just like. Hawk it out the window. It's not a common thing for you. We're not hawking it out the window. Um, uh, I will take. Well, this is gross. I actually don't think I could do that. <laughs> throw, throw it are out the window. Any... Maybe a bear will get it. Maybe. maybe, maybe is there, are there any knives in the it. kitchen? I will bring out my. Swiss Army uh, if you make it to the kitchen, you can go look. <laughs> yeah, let's I'll check the kitchen. Swiss Army knife, and I will open up the blade, and I'm gonna stab it right into the center of its head. As you stab it, you recall when you were stabbed through the stomach and into the tree. Hmm. Make a pow check for me. 54 out of 80. Try and shake it off. Dax, you're going to the kitchen? Yeah. So there's the kitchen and the kitchen store. So you can kind of see in the back that's like the the pantry or like uh, like cold storage area, like a giant fridge. Yeah. But not like a fridge, but just yeah. a cold store area. Uh, there's a massive word burning stove. Again, everything's covered in dust and cobwebs. Um, everywhere else, you can see there's a wooden preparation table, right? That's kind of the biggest area. That's where chefs would kind of prepare all their all the stuff to go into the oven and things like that. You find a range that has uh, rusty kitchen knives. I'll grab one. You can put a rusty. Uh, let's go butcher cleaver if you want a okay. butcher cleaver. Sure. In your inventory. <laughs> and then I'll run back out. All right, I got it. I'm saying a knife in its head. Ah. Oh. I'm covering Foxy's oh. eyes. <laughs> oh man. Is that the? Oh man. Just, just get it out of get it out of here. Check <laughs> it out the window. Check it out the window. <laughs> Let a bear eat it. I don't want it in my hotel. Did you find any food in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with the raccoon? I'm not doing it. Um, I'm, I'm looking at I her with, take... a, with a knife in its head. <laughs> I'll take the knife out and I'll clean it off on the uh, whatever the sheet was. The mm -hmm. Dax used to pull off of it and then I'll wrap it up in the sheet. Put it in what? I'll... I'll... Wrap it in the sheet and put it outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk it out and put it down and pat its little dead body and walk back in. Sure, there's an overrun garden over there. It's Great. overrun by weeds and stuff, but it's it's comfortable it's and nice. Good. It's final resting place. Yep. Here you are. And then I go back. Okay. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't go into the larder, but there's, some, there's a gas range in there and a wood-burning stove and stuff like that. Oh, that's good. At least we could cook if we had anything to eat. I'm gonna, uh, there's no fridges or anything in the kitchen? There's a cold storage area. It's Ooh. like a giant fridge, but it's not exactly a refrigerator. And you don't have any electricity. <laughs> mm. Was there anything in the, did we go to the larder? Was that part of the description or? Yeah, yeah, it's a larder and pantry. So, like, there's a okay. cold storage area and, like, the larder is the pantry, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Dex, go to the larder and figure out if there's any Cheetos or some shit in there. I'm starving. I, I don't feel like I saw Cheetos when I was there. Did I see any food? You didn't go in the larder. Okay, I'll go to the larder. I'll go back to the larder. Or like Cheez-Its uh, or gold. Sure, you open it up and in there you see row upon row of cans and tins of peaches. There's a lot of it's a pe I think I think old Pete had a peach heavy diet. <laughs> well, we're it's a miracle he's still alive. Dinner. It's do, a it's a damn miracle. Do they have like any wines to pair with it? I think there was a wasn't there a wine cellar on the map? No. <laughs> or there, no, there's the a cellar. WC, Sorry, no, it's, it's a cellar. water <laughs> closet. <laughs> which is which which is Just goes for a basement. The only <laughs> yeah. one they have there is the toilet wine. <laughs> All right. Well, grab those peaches. They could, they could have wine in the cellar though. In the basement, you can go look. They might have wood down there if there's a wood storage area. 
Well, which means we could have a fire. I we can cook the peaches. I'm like I a will. hot peach in a warm summer day. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not a warm time, so summer day. It's, it's not snowing summer. outside. You're a warm summer spring day. <laughs> I'm going to stay here, eat my peaches in peace, with, and I'm going to get some food for Foxy because I brought some of her wet food for me. It's the premium stuff. Um, you guys, I go to the cellar, see if there's any wine or logs, and we can start a fire and we'll have a peachy keen night. <laughs> you going to eat them raw? All right. I mean, Pete was. <laughs> I'll probably pair him with some of my fruit bars I brought. <laughs> so you two go to the basement or the cellar? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So they I'll leave. Pull out oh. a flashlight, though, for sure. Good idea. It's getting it's getting mighty dark. <laughs> Closer to that 9.15 time, about an hour. <laughs> uh, do you open the peaches? Well, first I set up, a, uh, I pull out of my backpack a tiny dinner plate that has, like, cat designs on it, and I put it down, and I open uh, Foxy's wet food, and I cut it in half, and I shoo her away because she's trying to get into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I've done this in real life. <laughs> um, and I put just half of the wet food on the plate, and I mash it up for her, and then I put a little bit of water on it to give it a little bit of souse. <laughs> uh, and then I open up the peaches for myself. You open the peaches, and they are awful. They are the most atrocious smell. They've turned into a sticky black sludge. <sighs> They've probably been here since the hotel is opened. I'm just going to throw the peach jar at the fireplace and just go, Is nothing in here working? <laughs> and then I pull out a, a tiny fruit bar that I brought with me, and I just open it and chew on it. <laughs> just... It's as you throw the, <laughs> oddly enough, as you throw the peaches towards the fireplace, you shake the chimney, and out of the chimney drops just carcass after carcass of dead birds. <laughs> all, all, all different periods of decay, skeletal, rotting. Uh, go ahead and make a constitution check. <laughs> Just the silent scream. <laughs> uh, didn't get that. That's a 90 out of 50. You throw up. <laughs> I go everywhere. But then I turn it to the yeah. side so it's not on my cat. <laughs> basement team, uh, you're heading down to the basement. That means you're walking from the kitchen back into the office. That's where the downward staircase leads. Yep. So you go in, you go through the office, you walk by the bell system, and you head down into the cellar. As you get into the cellar, um, it is pitch black down there. How far do you get? You turn our flashlights on, anything like that? I turn the flashlight on like before we start walking down the stairs. Yeah, as soon as we can see it's dark. Yep, as you get to the cellar, let me see if my other notes. But as you get to the cellar, you as soon as you shine your light down there, you can see water. Floating dead rats. Um, floating logs. But you hear water running. And you see water kind of up to the stair level. It seems like it's not up to code. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> That's We gotta have to get, like a, get a pump in here. I mean... There's not the wood down there. It's not going to be good for burning. I don't think we need to go down here. That's my instinct. Are there any logs that are close? That I wouldn't have to go super far? Like, could I just want to grab one of them? How close do you want to get? I, I just, I want to try to see if it's waterlogged. I want to know how long this water's been here. Sure, you um, you get down. Go ahead and make a spot hidden check to f look for a log. My God! Oh wait, no, that's fine. I got, I got a. I wait, no, I didn't. Wait, yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I got it. I got an, an eighty-one. You got an eighty-one. I sure did. Yep. So. As you kind of. Look around, you see a log, and you kind of reach out for the log. 
as you reach out and you kind of grab the light, you gotta step into the water a little bit. Oh no. You feel a hand grab your wrist. <laughs> Go ahead and make a size check. Fucking no thanks. This was a mistake. <laughs> I like how there's no debate that this place is fucking haunted as all nines. <laughs> oh no, that's a 59 out of 50. It pulls you into the water. The water's only about three feet high now that you've kind of noticed because you're kind of on your hands and knees and you know that the surface is not too high up and you're being pulled closer and closer to the wall. Do I see this too? And you hear... Stay true. Awaken the truth. Awaken. Yes, you see her get pulled. It looks like she just kind of fell into the water. And she hasn't come up. And this water, it's filthy, dark, mucky. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> wait one second. It's oh, it's yeah, been sure. it's like it's been closer to like twenty seconds, twenty five seconds of her being in the water. Fucking amateur hour! I'm gonna take off my blazer, <laughs> rip, take off his shirt. Remember his days from Yale's water polo team and dive in. And he dives in. Go ahead and make a strength check. You dive into three feet of water, Annabelle. <laughs> yeah, it is an all deep. It is. Yeah. You just broke your goddamn neck. <laughs> <laughs> Annab Annabelle's looking. But learning very quickly what happens in like Cthulhu mythos when you just start I, grabbing things. And I got it too. Stuff. I got it too. It's not great. It's not great. My my ex dive. my learning Probably experience too. was never check the fridge. <laughs> yeah. So you dive in. Uh, make your strength check. I got it too. Oh no, Anna. An Annabelle. Oh. I make a strength check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a twenty nine. Out of 40. Oh, so you pass. Okay, great. Yeah. Right when you feel like you're about to take a deep drink of this water because you're just <gasps> coming, trying to come up for you, you manage to break against it and you feel Dax grab your hips and pull you up and out of the water. The hell? I thought we were going in. We just, I just said that. Um, did you see anything? in the water no oh, i said i i heard us say we don't need to go down here and then i saw you jump in that was oh, the extent no, I, of it i definitely didn't jump in i was pulled in and i just wondered if you could see what grabbed me i'm gonna can i make a psychology roll yeah go ahead no nope, 87. she's uh, a weirdo yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean like in all expressions of everything she is she looks pretty weird <laughs> uh listen we all we all trip sometimes it's all right just let's let's go tell garfield Me. that this we're gonna need to get a pump <laughs> that we're gonna need to get a pump to uh, get the water out of here it's you guys are talking and it's like pitch black by the way and her flashlight's in the water yeah <laughs> Let's go upstairs. I'm trying to feel the wall upstairs. Grab my <laughs> yeah. shirt. Grab my shirt and blazer in one well, hand. You, and you, can, like... you left the door open and like there's enough moonlight for you to determine where that door is. I'll pick up my blazer and shirt and mm -hmm. walk back up. I'll follow, but I'm gonna take one last sweep to see if there's any fucking logs nearby. <laughs> <laughs> there's a hole. Well, so you can't. You can't see anything. <laughs> oh right, the flashlight died. Okay, great. I, so we're you down could, to I could give you a check if you really want. To, like you could kind of gra you grab. You, all right, hold on. I have natural night vision. <laughs> all right, you feel some. You feel something bump your arm. Do you want to grab it? <laughs> no, I sure don't. Well, no, okay. no, she would. I don't want to, but she would. She would just pick she it up. She would. Okay, you, you grab it, you hold on to it, make an intelligence roll. It's gonna be a rat, isn't it? It's gonna be a body. <laughs> That's a 62 out of 60. If it's, it feels like a log. Maybe it's just, maybe it just feels kind of furry because there's moss on it. Oh, I'm gonna let it go and go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I send you guys down to the basement for wine and logs. One of you dies. <laughs> <laughs> you got some bad news about that center, my man. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. 
You're certainly taking a path that I wasn't <laughs> expecting you would take. 